Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm in the car and this is still a tech, tech tutorial, alright? So what I'll be showing you to do today is how to translate your um, dashboard instruments and of course your media player or your car radio to English. Now of course sometimes when you get a brand new car it might be in a secondary language such as um, Japanese. Um, this is a Toyota. And as you can see here, this is the instrument cluster. Most of these are in um, English, but of course you do get a few um, translation problems with instruments clusters. As you can see here, guys, you can see that the instrument cluster is in Japanese. Not everything, but of course there are some main um, instrument sections here. As you can see, this trim here showing the Japanese. I'm not sure what these do. But of course, once you are able to follow this tutorial, I'll show you how to translate these over um, into um, English. And of course, I'm going to show you first that this does work. Then I'm going to show you what I do exactly to get to this stage. And of course, to demonstrate, this will work for Android as well as um, iPhone. I have my um, iPhone here. And let me just get a second to prepare this. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I have this here and it's ready to go. Now, of course, as you can see, just give me a second here, guys, to do a little um, preparing. All right, so it does say align. Notice here on the instrument cluster. Notice it does translate. It says current location. And it says current location speech. It does say destination. And it says information. And it says seek track. And if I look at the cluster itself, all I see is seek track. And of course, the Japanese um, in, um, representations there. So just again, in case you want to translate, it does say current location or voice or speech. It does say destination and information. So using um, the translation um, um, up here, I'm able to translate here. So I know now that these instrument clusters mean that, of course, um, this is the navigation side. Next, I'm going to do this other side over here. Notice it says close. It does so show uh, Japanese and some other information. All right, so I'm just going to use the translation right here. Forgive me, guys. I have to be maneuvering here. All right, there we go. It says audio, and it does say settings or edit. Let's go again to make sure I'm seeing right. It says settings or edit, and it says audio and it says close all right so as we see here we now know what those mean now let's look at the dashboard instrument cluster itself when this is powered up so i'm just going to go ahead here and i'm going to start up the um, vehicle all right so there we go and of course i'm just going to load All right, so um, here we go again. I might have to cut out sections of this. Notice the instrument cluster is up, but of course I'm seeing Japanese once more and I have no clue what these mean. Now, of course, this is a touch screen for uh, this. So what I'm gonna do here right now is I'm gonna translate. So again, I'm gonna um, get my um, app and here we go. It says point registration, it says wide area, all right, and it says over here details, and it says off. All right, and of course, this is just the instrument cluster. It does say something right over here. Let's see what it says. It says traffic information. All right, so traffic information right there. And it does say down here, detail. So if I want to know, I can actually go ahead and hit what I know to be detail. There you go. Right. Now, um, that's cool again, guys. So now, when I said detail, I could also um, translate what's on screen. In case you're hearing um, audio output, just as we heard before, all I got to do here for the app is go back. And then I'm going to go into voice. All 
And of course, guys, um, if I do that correctly, especially if I have data for um, um, the translation of the audio, it should work quite um, fine. And of course, as you see here, I'll be able to translate almost anything in my vehicle, no matter the language. All right. So, guys, I just want to say right now, um, prepare for the next section where I'll show you exactly how I did this, what app I'm using and so on. See you there. All right, guys. So in case you were following along earlier, we are showing you how to translate um, the text within your car that's in another language could be Japanese or maybe maybe some other language and in case you do not understand your instrument cluster or maybe that um, media player inside of your car or car radio you could actually translate I'm gonna show you how to do that now I was able to um, translate everything that you saw in real time this can work whether or not you have data and of course to do this what I use is the translate app now translate is created by Google and its full name is Google Translate. Now, in order to get the Google Translation app, make sure you go to your App Store. If you're on Android, this works just the same. If you're on iOS, it's the same. Simply go to your App Store. Now, said App Store can be... Now, said App Store can be um, the Google Play Store or the App Store from Apple. So, go over to um, Search. You're going to search for um, Google Translate. I already have it there. But let's just search again, Google Translate. Initially, you do need internet. So once you hit Google Translate, so once you're at the section for Google Translate, go ahead and tap um, Get or um, Download or tap on Hit Here and get Get. And once it downloads, you'll have the application. Um, now to use the application, make sure that you are connected to the internet still. Launch the app for the first time. You'll be on the main screen. Um, from here guys, all you got to do is select the language that you need. Let's say you know that the device like in the car, the case of the car, we know that it's in um, Japanese. All you got to do is tap, search for Japanese from the many languages. When you find Japanese, you'll see a download arrow there. Go ahead and tap that download arrow, meaning that it's going to download the translation data. Or if you have internet all the while, you don't have to download anything. All you got to do is just simply select so let's say you selected Japanese, it will say translate Japanese and of course the main language is English, which I'm assuming you speak English, it doesn't really matter, it works for any language. Alright, in case you want to download as I showed earlier Japanese to your phone for offline use, you're going to look for Japanese or Chinese or whatever and you're going to hit the download arrow. By hitting the download arrow, what will happen is that it will ask you to download if you want to download the um, full language. So for example here, let's show you with Spanish. If I download there, notice it tells me that in order to translate offline files, even your offline, I'll I need to hit download. So in this case, I'll hit download and it will download a 45.3 45 megabyte file. Um, in this case, I don't want to somehow hit cancel. So all I gotta do is do the same for Japanese in case you do not have internet where you are. Tap, it will download the translation file and it will give you a check mark here. If not, just simply select it. All right. So as I said before, um, in case you can just simply select the language in case you have data. If not, just go ahead and download by hitting the download arrow and downloading the offline data. In my case, as I said we were using Japanese. I've done it for um, offline, and it's best to keep it on the phone as it's more it's smoother if you have um, instant translations when the um, packet is downloaded. So I advise that you download it. And I've set English, which is also downloaded for easy use. Then go to the camera. And then, of course, you're here. And all you got to do is just um, align. Once you align, it will translate. All right. There are other important um, features as well. You can take a picture and import or you can scan. All right, guys. Um, something else I've realized. Um, for scan, in case you have something that's giving you um, particular issues. For example, you're in a hard situation where the camera is moving instant is better for me but um, scan will um, allow you to take a picture once you take the picture it will allow you to um, translate as seen i'm going to take a picture off screen right now all right so i took a picture off screen notice it's it's saying here um to highlight with my fingers meaning the area um, also good lighting is very important um, only use this feature in case you need something very specific and your hands are moving a lot so there we go it says please read instructions carefully which is what's been translated please read instructions carefully before um, use and so on so you see it does work especially for taking a picture and scanning but as i said real time is way better you can also import in case you took a previous picture and translate as well um, as i said instant is the best
All right, guys, that's a bonus tip. Um, in case your car is also speaking, you can actually translate what it's saying. As you notice here, we can do handwriting, you can do camera, and you can do conversations, meaning you're speaking to somebody, you can translate back and forth, and you can do voice, meaning once it hears something, you can use it to translate. So if your car is speaking, you can always tap and allow it to translate what is um, being said. Right, so as I was saying, um, in case your car is saying something that you do not understand, you can help you as well. You can use conversations um, to speak between somebody, as I said, but voice. Let me just show you a quick here. Arigato. Alright, so I just said something in um, Japanese, which is arigato. And as you can see here, arigato, it does say arigato. I'm going to switch this over to um, English. And where is it? Sorry. It's in Japanese. Arigato. We're going to change it over to um, English. And notice it, is, notice it says um, thanks. All right, so um, it does work. So in case of your car, all you got to do is just time whatever it's saying, um, saying and then capture the um, voice. And then you'll be able to see what it's saying. As seen there, Japanese arigato, meaning thanks. All right, guys, so this is um, quite simple. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as always, guys. Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.